Hi guys, today I'm coming to you from MSC World Europa, which is one of the newest ships from MSC Cruises. Now, if you're new to my channel, then I'm Fraser and I'm actually spending the rest of this year, so 2023, ship hopping as a passenger, as a way of seeing as much of the world and as many ships as I possibly can. So if you find this video useful, if you enjoy it, it'd be brilliant to have you along on the journey if you click subscribe underneath and also give the video a thumbs up while you're down there. But yeah, let's get to it. So today I'm coming to you right now from my inside cabin, but I've been able to get access to a very different cabin type to give you a full tour of this morning. Now, the cabin that we're going to look at is on deck 11 of the ship, so quite a good location because you're almost surrounded, or you are surrounded by other cabins, which is usually my recommendation if you're going on a cruise. Now, the thing that makes this cabin different to the others that I've ever seen on a cruise ship before is that rather than the balcony facing the ocean, which is what one would probably expect when booking a cruise, this balcony actually looks into the central promenade area on deck eight of the ship. Now, this isn't a new thing for cruise lines. This does exist with other lines, for example, Royal Caribbean. If you've been on their bigger ships, then you will see that they have these um, balcony cabins that look into the central area. So yeah, not new to the industry, but certainly brand new for MSC. So look, let's get along to that other cabin, have a look around, and let me know what you think down in the comments. Okay, so the cabin that we're going to look around today is up on deck 11 of the ship. Now, the first thing that really did strike me walking into this cabin was the fact that it's a good bit smaller than I would have expected a more premium grade cabin to be on such a new cruise ship. Now, the way it works is on one side of the room, you've got your bed with your two tables on either side, then you've got your touch lamps on either side of the bed that have each got one USB port integrated onto them. Now spinning round, you've got the main workstation, which you've got two open shelves on the left hand side. You then move down and you've got your mini bar underneath the desk on the bottom left. My advice is always get that emptied and then you can use that to store your own things. Moving over, you've then got one really long drawer over the desk area. You've then got your hair dryer on the right hand side your safety deposit box directly under that and then you've got one empty drawer that you can use for whatever you wish down below that. Now in terms of what else is going on over here you've got your document holder that you'll find that in every single MSC bedroom. You've then got your cabin phone that you can use to call other cabins or guest services and then your power outlets. So in these new cabins you've got two US plugs, two European plugs and two USBs over the desk so really well appointed. Now, moving into here, you've got this sort of dresser area that we'll come back to in a second on the way into the bathroom that's accessed via a sliding locking door. Now, standard MSC bathroom in here. I'm a big fan of them. Really, really great to have a shower, cur uh, a shower curtain gone and a shower screen installed. So big, big fan of that. And from a storage point of view, you've got open storage on the left and then you've got this double wardrobe here with plenty of hanging space for two passengers. Now, to look at what you're actually paying the money for with this cabin, we need to just walk over here and go outside. So this cabin type isn't for everyone. This is really, really different to what you'll see on other MSC ships at the moment. Now, when you look to the right, you'll see the World Promenade and you'll see the Venom Drop dry slide, which takes you from deck 20 down to deck eight. Now, that to me is what you're paying for. The fact you've got a wake view on the left-hand side without having to pay the premium price tag that comes with getting an aft facing suite on a ship. So personally, I'm a fan, not sure if I'd cruise in here, but I do like the room. But let me know, what do you think? Would you cruise in here or would you probably stick to one of the more traditional cabin types? Let me know in the comments and thanks very much for watching. Bye.